CPHI MIS exam preparation question and answer. Question number 11. This is a standard developed by HL7 that provided the groundwork of a standard in EHR A, X2L, B, EHR dash S functional model, C, in interop model, and D, PHR dash S functional model. Answer B EHR dash S functional models. Question number 12. There are many factors which ensure successful EHR implementation or transformation. Which of the following is most predictive of success? A. Training for computer savvy providers or those who have used the EHR before is not necessary. B. Reducing ambulatory productivity permanently will accommodate change provided changed provider workflows. C. Managers supporting implementation should have no other responsibilities at go live. D. Additionally, staff is required to execute new workflows and provide at the elbow support. Answer C. Managers supporting implementation should have no other responsibilities at go live. Explanation. Best practice for effective go live support is ensure that key managers and super users are able to focus on implementation activities during the go live. Training is essential for all providers. Although one size fits all training program are not optimal, residents must also receive training, especially if working across multiple care settings in which other EHR systems are used. Typically, with effective training, additional staff is not required for new workflows. It is when users try to preserve old workflows in parallel with new workflows that there may be increased staffing requests. Question number 13. Which of the following is the first step in planning process for the chair of strategic information systems planning committee for the next fiscal years? A. Understand the corporate goals and objectives. B. Understand the information systems goals and objectives. C. Solicit input from key stakeholders d review the planning committee's priority list for the previous years answer a understand the corporate goals and objectives question number 14 the data collected from hospital ambulatory medical care survey emergency department patient record for hospital abc shows that biggest problem about the service is the emergency room wait time before the ceo launch a team to fix the problem what should he do first a develop a project charter to launch a project conduct a root cause analysis c begin with initiation and then later plan and follow PMI methodology to be successful in project to fix the emergency room wait time problem. D. Conduct a cost, ben cost benefit analysis. See if it's worthwhile to fix the problem. Answer B. Conduct a root, root cause analysis. The CEO should begin with the root cause analysis to understand the problem before applying for a fix. Question number 15. Lack of available time, lack of political and communication skills, and lack of visions are examples of leadership failure which can damage EHR implementation or migration. How can one avoid such failures? A. Have a mission statement, a long term strategic plan and governance. B. Create a project plan, use gun charts to determine the timelines and follow agile processes. C. Hire experienced manager to run day to day operations of implementation. D. Be sure to hire a chief medical informatics officer to manage the process. Answer A. Have a mission statement, a long term strategic plan, and governance. Explanation Answer A clearly addresses the overall structure for large long term efforts such as EHR implementation. Project Plan B are for short term, more focused goal. Although having experienced manager is crucial to success of an, of an implementation, even the best manager cannot overcome leadership failure. Answer C. Although having a 
CMIO is likely to improve implementation. One leader alone is not sufficient to ensure success EHR implementation. Okay. EHR implementation requires 100% leadership support. Question number 16. There are five stages in Rogers' innovation decision process. What is major influence on the persuasion stage? A. Whether people are really interested in making changes. B. How many people are interested in adopting the innovation. C. How people pursue the innovation. And D. How long people have been using their past tools. Answer C. How long people pursue the innovation? Explanation. Although the other answers are potential influences, the major influence is how people understand and intercept, interpret what the innovation is and how they can use it for their own work. Question number 17. Which of the following is term for a statement of vision for the technology implementation that meets the missions, goals and objective of the organization? A. A strategic plan. B. Technology plan. C. A strategic information system plan. D. Business plan. Answer C. A strategic information system plan. The strategic information system plan is defined as a statement of organization's vision for how it will deploy technology to advance the missions, goals and objective of the business. Question number 18. The interdisciplinary domain that sits at the intersection of clinical practice, information technology, information management and management practice is known as a. Health informatics B. Biomedicine Health Information Management D. Telehealth Answer A. Health Informatics Question number 19. Which of the following provides the most input for forecasting technology needs of an organization? A. Stakeholder Needs Analysis B. Organizational strategy plan. C. Technology forecast from third parties. D. Departmental needs analysis. Answer B. Organizational strategy plan. Question number 20. The director of quality asked Susan for activities of her project. Susan replied, I am holding meetings with stakeholders, investigating the importance of the project, understanding the values and how the results of the project align with the overall mission of the organization. This is the best description for what Susan is doing. A. System analysis. B. System design. C. Initiation. D. Planning. Answer A. Sujan is res Sujan responses is the activities of the system analysis. While initiation seems like a possible answer, initiation is a process group that has more to do, more to the activities that Sujan is replied. Question number 21. 